Well, congratulations, Dow. So, a 2 0 win. What was your assessment of the game today? I thought, first off, what crap. I thought we were useless. Um, <coughs> I needed a shout and scream, which I haven't done for a long time at half time, getting the standards back up. Um, we started off like obviously we scored in the first couple of minutes, and I think everybody, including myself, I, I got it a bit wrong today, to be honest. Um, I think I've got it right in the last couple of months, but I think obviously Martin and Ian have a see as well, and um, I went against everything about putting fresh legs in. I thought it would be alright, and it wasn't. Let's get the cards on the table. I thought we were lucky to be 1 0 at half time. I thought the standard slip, but I thought it was crap by me, to be honest. Um, the place was like a morgue, and it would be if we're not pressing and we're not squeezing and we're not doing it. So I feel as though I got it wrong today a bit, to be honest. I thought it lined up the second half a bit and ended up being comfortable in the second half. Um, but we've got to be, we've got to line things up a little bit by players. But I didn't get that right before kick off, and I'm the first one I admit it if I make mistakes myself. Um, so if I can give it a little bit more, and the staff and players kind of support us, kind of think as well, because it's very quiet here today. And um, I know this year, you know, we've got to give them something to shout about, and I've got that, I really have. But we have done the first couple of weeks, and it, this place will be rocking, and the supporters will make a hell of a difference to it. And I hope we're coming numbers against Hampton, because you can't be, be a one with a game at Swinning. We've also helped with a longer ways. I just thought was a, the players were quiet, the supporters were quiet, and I've got it wrong, so it's not a great combination. But if, we're, if we haven't got that very good combination, we'll still win 2-0. We've got to look on the positives. I just think I, I got it wrong myself a bit this year. And of course, you, you got off to the ideal start with another excellent goal from Toby Edson. It's good to see him getting forward so much now. Yeah, great. I think. He, he, he's doing well, and he's done well since he's been at the club. I, I, just thought, like, I, I thought Jack Cook was man of the match by a million miles. I thought he was our best player. Um, by a long shot, I thought uh, you know everybody talked about the back four being solid. But I thought Cookie was excellent, and Edson has done the best out of the three, and who just done okay again. Two wide ones were ineffective up front, we didn't do those. But we look and see how many games we've had, and I'm trying to wind everybody up by saying just play matches, don't be injured, don't read what you see on the telly and, and all that. I just think I should have probably, you know, uh, I, I can't be quite stubborn. I can't be quite. This is how we do things and. To be honest, Martin and Ian, um, we were telling us beforehand that we would have shaken things up a little bit, but I said no, we'll not. I've got to take out responsibility, it was my call, and um, I thought I was, a, even though I won the game 2-0, I thought we were fairly lucky to come in at 1-0, so I, I've got away with that one, to be honest, I've just got to make sure I get it right for, um, for New Year's Day. And you mentioned Jack Cook, I mean, when he first started, I think it's fair to say he had a, not the best of starts, but since you brought in Gehring alongside him, he, yep. it's really improved him, hasn't it? It has, he's been an excellent cookie, um, I think he's been getting better and better as a player. Um, I've always thought he's a good player because he's got everything to set a half once. One thing I've just said to them earlier on the season is you've been having good games with making mistakes. If you get your mistakes out you, as a back four player, you've got a chance after you're in the back four of your career. And then um, one thing I didn't do was make that many mistakes, and that's why I made a career. And you can make a career by just doing the basics, do the basics, head it and kick it and give it to somebody who can play. And we have got players now actually who can play. So, uh, you know, but again, I like to see, I thought uh, the two way ones were lethargic and never really got behind them like we have done. But listen, since the Swindon game, you know, uh, Ian was saying we've won by fours, we've won by threes, we're, you know, in the league, we've done very, very well. Um, so today has just proved that, you know, we're, we've had a bad day at the office ish. I've had a little bit of a bad day at the office ish. So, but you still win 2 0, so hopefully that's the same with a good side. And then on with the numbers. And of course, another clean sheet, which Aye. must be pleasing. Oh, no, definitely. I'm, you know, we look a bit dodgy in the first half, you should have scored. And at one point, I looked at the career cut, um, you know, for Serb in his hands, didn't he? he couldn't catch the ball and it fell in there. He's, uh, but he's been excellent forward. The back four's been brilliant. Um, it has, I just think in front of him, we've got to do a bit better. And, um, uh, listen, Heidi scored a lot of goals this season. I really thought Max Crosma, um, who we missed his deliveries because the deliveries in the day weren't very good. Um, you know, so we missed his corners and free kicks we did, and we missed him as a player because he's worked with. He's got a bit of a hamstring. Who will he be fit for box, um, New Year's Day? But it's a funny game of football. You know, I said the lads, and it's a funny game of football because if I do make a few changes on New Year's Day, you could have two or three people who will play against Watford. No, I don't want them looking at me and saying, well, why am I not playing? Because you're only as good as your last game. No, if that's one or two of the players last game and I make changes and somebody like Lua comes in and scores and does well, then I've got to keep them in the team. So um, that's the way I look at it. And Hodgie come on and look lively again and, uh, and ran back and made tackles. So it's doggy dog now, so at least I've got one more game to judge it. And of course you want to play in front of millions against Watford. And of course you want to, you know, but we've got to keep the run going. Um, you know, in the bottom line, this is another tough game. Uh, I just hope we are better, I hope I'm better as a manager and um, to kick one, that's what we need. 
and Torquay won again today. How important psychologically, Dows, is it to keep parity with Torquay and not let them get away? I think if a few hours can go on our league, I'm not bothered, to be honest. Uh, I heard Torquay won, but I'm not bothered if it won or not. It makes me odds, because the bottom line is I'm not really looking at the championship, I'm not really looking at promotion, I'm not looking at Watford, but what I am looking about is the Hampton game and getting three points. And as a manager, that's all I've ever been judged on, getting three points. And if I get a lot of three points, then we'll be fine. If I don't get as many, then we won't be. So uh, I, honestly, I know people may think it's a two-horse race or but it's cobblers, man. It, it, you know, we could lose five, Torquay could lose four, and then, um, yeah, I'm not in all that. You know, we're halfway through it now, aren't we? Halfway through the season. And we're done okay, but Torquay are top, and they'll be favourites to win the league. We'll not be favourites to win the league, because Torquay's got a lot more pulling power than we have. Um, but the bottom line is, uh, honestly, I've got to win again. Once we start thinking, oh yeah, we're, you know, looking at mobile phones and looking at results at this stage, maybe it's two or three games ago, yes, but not now. So all we got to do is beat Hampton on um, New Year's Day. Nothing else matters, to be honest. I, I'm really not bothered with two horse races. I've been in them before against Korea Wonders at King's Stadium and, and, and against Bognar. And near the end of the season, you do. You think, oh, Craig, we've got, but not now, Lee. You know, it's too far to go. 20 odd games left in it, 21 games or so, whatever. Um, so we've still got to get 60 points here. Lovely, thank you very much. Pleasure. Okay, all the best. Okay.